Howdy and Frank Show. Thank you for joining us. 1-800-955-5567. If you are joining us right now, you're in for a special treat. I've been giving away UFC 157 tickets all week long. I've had a pair every single day. I have a pair right now to give away. But I'm not going to give them away. I'm going to let uh, Ronda Rousey give them away. Cool, yeah. There he is. Is that the doorbell? We've been talking, about her. Her? We've been talking about her all week. Yay! Oh, come on in here. Hey, hey, Look oh, at that. Thank you so much. She brought gifts. Check gonna, it out. I was going to get you something, too, and That's then I forgot. That's awesome. Look at that. <laughs> I was. I was you at the mall yesterday. You always say that like, to people. Like, I gotta get oh. Rhonda like a Christmas gift or something, and I forgot to get you. But cool. uh, thank you so much. Thank That's you for awesome. being here. We've been talking about you all week, dude. I, I heard you guys on the drive over. It freaked me out. I wasn't ready to hear anyone on the radio. I'm like what? What? That's, right me. That? That's me. Where am I going to that show? <laughs> oh my god. You are like most sought after athlete right now. Probably you've been on uh, everybody's show as far as like people are requesting your your appearance. It's got to feel good, right? Yeah, you know, my self-esteem is doing pretty well. <laughs> no <laughs> doubt. Undefeated, too. It's she, crazy. No one has kicked your butt. Well, I mean, I get my butt kicked every day, but not when I'm actually... When you train, <laughs> do you train like, when you do you fight guys or do you fight other women? Yeah, I train training? with pretty much a bunch of Armenian dudes, and, yeah. and it's me. I <laughs> stick out a little bit. And they're not nice to you. They're like, uh, they're like we're going to try to really kick your ass. Well, yeah. The, well, they're nice to me in general, but while we're yeah. training, no, they don't take you it don't want them to be. All. I mean, right? You don't want them to be nice to you. You want them to be hardcore to prepare you. Yeah, exactly. They're not doing me any favors by taking it easy. So, right. Uh, that's what it's like. So, yeah, I mean, to be a, I mean, part of this historic event, this UFC 157, because it is the first. I mean, you are the title bout. It is uh, That's what everybody's talking and, about, yeah. And uh, and Carmouche. Have you the, ever fought her before? No, I haven't. But um, she was very, very close to uh, being the person that I would have had to fight for the 135 title because okay. she was just destroying Marlou Kuhn in for four rounds. And then at the very end, Marlou caught her in a triangle and, and tapped her out. So what's her record? So her record is, uh, God, I forget. But she's lost. She's lost before, but they're very, very close. And, like, uh, they're all kind of like, you know, she was never dominated in any kind of fight. She's never really been knocked out or anything like that. So she's in, she's like a veteran Marine. I you know. know. I was <laughs> reading about this that. This is no slouch. This chick is like, you know, she's coming to throw down. Are you nervous? Well, uh, you get nervous you, for everything. But, but in a good, like that good nerves. Yeah, it's just it's how you use it that, uh, you know, if you choose the fight or flight side. And uh, right. um, I don't know, I feel like the more pressure there is, the, like, the more I fight above myself. Yeah, because I mean, obviously the pressure that. of being in the spotlight and being like, you know, this is a huge event, it's, it's history being made, and you're undefeated, so you really have, I mean, everything to lose. She has everything to gain. Mm -hmm. You are the, you're gorgeous. Totally. Look Thank at you, you guys. Look at Gorgeous you. and a I'm badass. I'm sure tired of hearing that. Oh my god, the sound effect. <laughs> Are you tired of hearing that you're pretty? No. Come on, I'm a oh. chick. I live off of food, water, and compliments. <laughs> there you go. Because, I mean, I mean, Thank I, God for food and water in my world. I, <laughs> the rest of them not really coming. Compliments are happening. Not around here. No, I, I've said that, that. I mean, and I'm sure you've heard it before, and you're probably tired of taking that question, but uh, that uh, your looks probably did influence Dana a little bit as far as like uh, him opening up to women in the UFC. Because I, I think before he was like, no, we're not going to have women in the UFC. And then you came around, and all of a sudden he's like, yeah. So do you think maybe that your talent and your looks had a little bit to do with that? I think it was a combination of factors. Hell yeah. You know? Um, like if I was there, you don't see the ring cards girls in there throwing down. That would look ridiculous. They're pretty, and um, you know, so you have to be a good fighter as well, and you have to be able to be, you know, somewhat interesting, I guess. And your background is judo. Judo, yes, and I have credentials. You know, like a lot of these other fighters, they kind of, you know, were some fighter's girlfriend and decided to try it out, and you know, then then they're, now they're a fighter. Right. You know, like I have a long history in the Olympics, and I think that that. Good lends a lot of credibility to the women fighters. Now. Oh, absolutely, and, now, and prepared you for competition. Then you've mm -hmm. uh, won. Uh, you're what six and zero, and you've won uh, every fight in the first round. Yes, sir. With an arm bar. You got God. it. Do you, are you feeling internal pressure to do something else? So no. like what, to like get the <laughs> stick with what you know, girl. No. <laughs> like, <laughs> over. Well, I know, but Next. I'm saying personally. I mean, it's like yeah, there's like submission guys, and then they finally get a knockout. They're like, oh, this was much. I mean, a lot easier than getting a submission was actually knocking a guy out. Are you? Hoping maybe or looking for that that other way to win. Uh, I mean, I, I I like still winning all in arm bars because it kind of gives you that um, there's kind of like a legacy to it. Like now I want to say like, right. can I really get everybody in it? And then um, but also if I was able to knock somebody out, I'd feel like more complete as a yeah yeah <coughs> as a mixed martial artist. And you so. haven't knocked anybody out yet. Uh, not in competition. <laughs> not in competition. <laughs> but you have when just screwing around when training. 
Um, I'm pleading the fifth and everything. <laughs> oh, <laughs> interesting. Now, I see your, day, your the typical day here. It's like uh, you uh, you wake up, you have your coffee, and then it says music and driving. Could we change that to Heidi and Frank and driving, like you're listening to us on the way to, to your gym? I, I do listen to you guys, <laughs> but a Venice. little bit more when I was broke. I'm going to tell you that. When I was rolling in the Honda, and I didn't have anything other than the radio, you guys were are my presets. You're still my presets. Thank but, uh, you. Thank you so Rhonda. much. But, yeah. So, three Three workouts a day sometimes. Yes, three or I, four if my coaches don't get me to promise not to. Because sometimes I'll wake up extra early and go like skimboarding or sand dune sprints or something else like that. What is skin sand boor- dune sprints. skinboarding? Yeah. Skimboarding. It's like reverse surfing. So like surfing, you start in the water and you go in towards the beach. Okay. And skimboarding, you start on the beach and you ride it into the water. Oh, cool. Yeah, you need like, you throw down. yeah it's like right. a half inch of water and you like jump on it in a hydroplane. I call it stability and sprint it works drills. Your core, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It works your core, right? Yeah, it works your core. I convinced my coaches. I'm like, yeah, I'm doing stability and sprinting this morning. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, right now, because you're getting ready to fight coming up when? It's in, it's in uh, February. The, got... the date. I do have the tickets to give away. If you want to call up right now, I'm going to let uh, Rhonda give the tickets away to the event, UFC 157. February 23rd. Okay, is so the February 23rd. Date of the fight. When do you get in the best shape like of your obviously you're in great shape now but i'm saying closer to you want to feel their muscles the don't com- you the closer to the comp that's what i'm let me let me work my magic here right? no closer to the thing like where you just to- totally take all your water out and all that what you're when at your that best happen? um I, I we try to make it so you peak on the day of the fight okay and so like you pretty much tear your body down and you train really really hard and then the last week you pretty much rest and do nothing and you just take care of your weight and then it's like um when you're, like, you're doing all that stuff every day, every day, every day, and then they rest, you have nothing to do. Then like I feel like that guy in Ace Ventura when they put him in the backpack and he's like, blah, 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 blah. you know, <laughs> they let me out, energy. yeah, they, and they, they starve me, and then they put me in a cage and lock me with other chick. I go, ah, you know, just you just oh. want to kill somebody at that point. So by the time fight day comes, you're just like, oh. yeah, that's when you're at your peak is on fight day. But you do okay. nothing do right. for like 48 hours. You said you just a week, re- a, a week for a week. You do as little as possible and you just try and make your weight. Sex. <laughs> Well, wait, hold on to that. <laughs> the look on her face. I'm gonna wait and I'll tease you all. We're gonna come come back it's a and different find kind out. Different kind of skinboarding. With the, uh, the oh my what, what is the skin oh my. with an M? M. Skinboarding. That's yeah. Skinboarding. How many skinboarding sessions does uh, Rhonda have before her fight? Yeah. Uh, we'll find out that out when we come back. One eight hundred ninety five 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 six seven. We are Heidi and Frank. <laughs> Oh, that was just a little sample of the Heidi and Frank show on 95.5 KLOS. To get more samples like this and hear all the fun we have, you can do that at 955KLOS.com. Now, to get the show in its entirety, on demand, and if you want to watch the show, we webcast it every day, all you have to do is go to HeidiandFrank.com and become a premium package member. Do it right now.